Apple's hard at work on their new iPhone 16 lineup, including the very first iPhone Ultra model ever. And in this video, I'm gonna lay out and explain the top 10 changes, so if you chose to skip the iPhone 15 upgrade, you're in for a treat. Starting with change number one, the display sizes are finally getting bigger, which is gonna lead to many improvements. We have 6.9 inches on the 16 Pro Max model, and maybe also the Ultra, and then we have 6.3 inches on the regular Pro model. And as for the regular iPhone 16 models, they're gonna be sticking to the same 6.1 and 6.7 inch sizes. So finally, there's gonna be a noticeable difference between the regular and the Pro models. Now, one of the biggest concerns is that the phones are gonna be too wide and large to hold in your hands, but don't worry because this leads us into change number two. The brand new design is gonna be a little bit wider even though the display is getting a lot larger because the full dimensions have leaked for the 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max models. And going from the 15 Pro to the 16 Pro, we have essentially the same exact thickness as before. The width is going up from 70.6 millimeters to 71.45. Now, as far as the 16 Pro Max, it's the same story getting just a little bit wider and about 3.1 millimeters taller. So it'll basically be just as comfortable to hold with that even larger display, which is great news. Now change number three was a huge surprise because as you know, the iPhone 15 Pro models have a new action button, but guess what? Apple's gonna add another brand new button exclusively for the 16 Pro models. This will apparently be a brand new capture button, which is apparently supposed to be one of the main selling points of the 16 Pro models. It's gonna be located beneath the power button, most likely in this area, probably in place of the current 5G millimeter wave antenna. No one knows exactly what this new button's gonna be used for, but some rumors are pointing to it being used to record spatial video, which feels more natural holding the phone like this in landscape mode to make sure you have the proper 3D recording. For change number four, this feature is huge, and it's one that is only possible now that Apple is gonna be increasing the display size on the iPhone 16 Pro. You know that 5X optical zoom camera on the 15 Pro Max? Well, because of the bigger 6.3 inch display on the smaller 16 Pro, there is now gonna be more internal space, which will allow just enough room for Apple to jam pack this new crazy camera into the regular 16 Pro instead of being exclusive to the Pro Max. Personally, this new 5X camera has been my favorite feature by far on the new 15 Pro Max, and I feel bad for everybody out there with smaller hands that had no choice but to go with the smaller 15 Pro size because they're totally missing out. It literally makes it feel like you have a whole new perspective for photos and videos with incredible stabilization, so all of you small-handed people out there, you should be getting pretty excited right about now. Now moving on to change number five. I'm sorry that I got you excited because this one is gonna be a little bit of a slap in your face. The 16 Pro Max and Ultra models will also be getting an increase in size because of the larger 6.9 inch display. So they will therefore also be getting more internal space. And apparently Apple's gonna make the 5X telephoto lens even better. According to Digital Chat Station on Weibo, Apple is planning a 300 millimeter super telephoto zoom lens exclusively for one of those new huge models, so you're getting even further zoom. This one right here is a bit hard for me to believe because the lens on the 15 Pro Max is already quite large using a unique Tetra Prism lens design, so maybe that new super telephoto might actually be using a periscope lens instead Instead. For change number six, we have the brand new A18 line of chips, which has apparently already moved into volume production at TSMC. So this means that the A18 Pro chips 
are already past the design phase and they're gonna start stocking the shelves to prep for the new iPhone 16s. And the cool thing next year is that these chips will be built using TSMC's second generation three nanometer process node, which should focus more on efficiency and apparently the yields are gonna be much better, which could mean higher standards for performance per watt. For change number seven, we're expecting Apple to finally release their innovative new batteries, which will actually use a solid metal shell, completely different from their current soft foil pouch batteries. As you can see from this leaked prototype, it's a brand new design with a larger battery with a capacity of 3,355 milliamp hours. Now, if you didn't know this, the reason the current casings are soft is to allow the battery to swell up when it gets hot or has heavy use, and there's actually free space surrounding the entire battery to allow that swelling to happen without rupturing the battery and exploding like what happened to so many Samsung phones. But with this brand new battery tech, the batteries will no longer swell at least as much, having much better thermal features, so Apple can basically fill in all of that extra wasted space around the battery with a larger battery. Moving on to change number eight, we have another big upgrade in terms of the cameras, one that I'm personally very excited about because right now, the ultra wide camera is by far the worst out of all of the ones we have on the 15 Pro Max. Well, next year, the 16 Pro and Pro Max will be getting a brand new upgraded 48 megapixel ultra wide lens with four times more resolution compared to the current 12 megapixel ultra wide. For change number nine, we're expecting a massive upgrade in terms of Wi-Fi future proofing because the 16 Pro and Pro Max models are gonna be getting an upgrade to Wi-Fi 7, which is very unique because it's the first version of Wi-Fi that can connect over the 2.4 gig, 5 gigahertz, and 6 gigahertz bands simultaneously. This is gonna increase transfer speed, reduce latency, and give you a much more reliable connection. And apparently, it'll offer peak data transfer speeds of over 40 gigabits per second. And finally, for change number 10, these new iPhone 16 Pro models will also come with support for 5G Advanced using the new Qualcomm Snapdragon X75 modem. And this is gonna be very important because it's gonna be more power efficient, saving battery life, and it's gonna give you better range and service everywhere. I have the new 15 Pro Max and I already noticed a huge improvement in reliability in terms of the service, especially out where we camp every summer, which used to be a dead zone for phone calls on my previous 14 Pro Max. So I'm excited for even more improvements in this area. So there you guys go. Those were the top 10 changes we are expecting with the new iPhone 16 Pro models. If I missed one, go ahead and let me know down in the comment section below and subscribe above for more videos like this one and check out one of those two right over there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.